Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 77 of Horizon Zero Dawn. Wow, machine core large. Those are very rare then. Whoops. Okay, uh, okay, we apparently... What's this? So we are in her office. Okay, what's this? Artemis status? It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive, I'm positive about it. If those words can still mean anything. Had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram diorama suspended in what's in what if more than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043 we've started mapping out primary succession selecting the microorganisms and insects rabbits and hawks foxes and wolves thousands more that will have to wait their turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them so they can return to a world that, this time, will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too late. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The earth has was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now, like not like this, not on our watch. Okay, so oh that one. Odyssey has failed. Whoa. Some terrible news. I'm afraid Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night Telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo were all lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of human species and earthly life. Youch. So the attempt to move some of our life some of the life overseas is gone what's up there the alpha registry master file intact yeah no signs of corruption then what are you waiting for copy the file with this i can restore the registry at the hatch inside all mother Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Because Hades. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Whoa, okay. Jeez. Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> wow, again, my earlier uh, remini or 
ramblings about the bad people are usually far more more advanced than we are my entire life i've always known was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun even when jaron was murdered even when meridian fell i never doubted my destiny until you came along when i heard that you had survived a doubt took root in my mind as sure as the sun rises and falls each day those i am bade to kill die and yet i failed how why with each dig site you attacked each loyal soldier you killed this pestering doubt grew it grew when high priest bahavas went missing I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me you were just a savage girl so i thought at the time even still i aimed to kill you and yet did not this failing troubled my thoughts haunted every step it was only when i captured you down in that place that i finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then open this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, 
I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Yowch, we cannot save. We will be dropped into it again and fight a behemoth, I think. We cannot save and we are not armed with the right stuff. So we will be in the ring against the behemoth. That's the problem is. Karja faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this. I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Jeez. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? I knew it. We're gonna go Many up against ago, the behemoth. To consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves Yowch. of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. I can't Let believe this. Be the first of thousands. Okay. And we don't have our items. I don't believe this. Where is our stuff? I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this ring. Maybe I could use its strength against it. That pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Ouch. Ouch. Not this way. Ouch. Ouch. We still can't get to our 
I can't believe this. We have to get our weapons. Ridiculous. Ouch. Ouch. Whoa. Oh, we're we're over. It's looks important. Whoa, we survived! We survived! We survived! Silence! Shadows, kill her! Come on! This has got to be too much. Kill her! Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself!
Oh, jeez. I thought we were gonna die for sure. Oh, boy. After a hard fight. And we did not collect on the... Uh, we did not collect on the uh, loot on the... Uh, So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. <laughs> Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Helis recognized you back in the sun ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. <clears throat> yeah! Wow. Oop, there goes our timer. So let us check where uh, the nearest camp is. What's our current quest right now? Uh, go to Old Mother. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, this is Aloy. Uh, let me cut the episode right here. Uh, we gain one skill point. We gain, gained 11,000 experience points. And we are at a new level. So uh, so we need to go to All Mother, the heart of Nora. Uh, maximum health plus one. And at the same time... Uh, oh, anyway, that's our next... Wait, campfire discovered? Where is it? We need... Yeah, we need to go there. Uh, anyway, this is, no, uh, this is uh, a good shot of uh, Aloy on the horse. Uh, anyway, let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye. Daybreak. <laughs>